Today we're introducing Portfolio Accelerants Part 2, a follow-up video to a series of improvements to the Wheelhouse Portfolio page to help you do your job faster. Now, first, let's talk about the difference between pricing and revenue management. Namely, for pricing when you're thinking about or dynamic pricing when you're thinking about design, you think about automations. However, Wheelhouse is a revenue management platform. We do have pricing as part of our services, but our job is to help put your team quickly in control of your portfolio. Therefore, all of our product decisions are predicated on speed. How quickly can we help you do your job? In our mind, that means design is all about the details. So let's see a few of the improvements we're rolling out. The first one we're rolling out are advanced fast filters. Already on Wheelhouse, you can slice and dice your portfolio by a lot of different ways, but here you can see that now you could have multiple tags and you can include, exclude, or include all of them in the filters you create. Hopefully this is a faster way to slice and dice exactly the listings that you want to edit and modify. Next, we have new portfolio views. So you'll see us here toggling over to your minimum price settings. This is a new view for you. Now you still have settings you're familiar with. For example, you can hide your previous book nice just to hone in on where your minimum prices are. And you could toggle back to your observed prices. You've had this before. You can turn on your demand view. These new min price views, max price views, and soon min stays are just easier ways for you to see all the different elements of a day's pricing range. And lastly, quick collapse. In the last per portfolio improvements, we introduced metrics that allow you to slice and dice and sort your portfolio quickly. Now, because so many people are using metrics really quickly to sort your portfolio, we wanted to give you a way to have the right metrics visible to you and then quickly collapse them away when all you want to see are the dates on your, cal on your calendar. These might seem small, but again, design is all about the details. So dynamic pricing versus revenue management. Again, what we're going to explore in a second is an evolving revenue management platform we don't think as much about automation. We think all about speed and how quickly can your team create, review, and edit your strategies. Let's dive in to learn a little bit more. Let's see how all these small changes add up to a much faster interface. So first, right now, my view is the observed pricing from Wheelhouse. We can switch this over to see what prices Wheelhouse would recommend, but let's go check out our minimum prices. Great. Now here you'll see our minimum prices. And what we can do is you can see, you can grab these prices here. And you now, as of a few months ago, about two months ago, we added the ability for you to adjust the minimum prices for any date range at the same time. So now you can change daily prices, you can change min prices, max prices, or even minimum stays from this portfolio view. So easier way to evaluate and then edit your minimum price strategies. Next, as you might know, we have all these different metrics that you're able to use. So let's say I wanted to see how many nights booked in the last seven days. This is now a new column I can sort my information by. And maybe I want to run a filter and that filter could include even showing me when were, were certain properties last booked. However, in this case, let's explore our tag functionality. I want to make sure that I'm able to see my, the two sets of listings that I'm running an AB test on. In this case, I want to see them both, but actually I decided that these prices are doing okay. Let's switch over to excluding any properties that are in those AB tests, right? Now, I want a little more space to evaluate my strategy, and I want to change my view back to Wheelhouse's prices. Great. And I'm going to hide these columns. There we go. Go back to my view, turn on demand, and now I can see across all my properties that are not in an A-B test, which I excluded via these tags, this particular A-B test, I'm able to see their minimum prices. I'm able to see where I might want to go change their demand, right? I'm turning on this demand view. So this quick collapse allows me to explore more of my calendar fast, more quickly. These different pricing views allow me to see the right information at the right time. And the advanced tags allow me to slice and dice my portfolio more quickly. So lots to do on the new wheelhouse portfolio. Hopefully these and other pending changes help you move really quickly when you're trying to create, evaluate, or edit your pricing strategy. Have more ideas? We'd love to hear them. Cheers.